So this week on my vlog, I decided to let out my artistic side. I really need to get the creative juices flowing so I can pour that energy into my dance routine. So to get that going and to celebrate it finally being fall, I'm going to make a wine cork pumpkin that I found on Pinterest. about how awful some things are on Pinterest because like I super don't have time for that but like we all know how ugly some of that stuff is and spoiler alert I could totally come up with better ideas in my sleep all right so to do this Pinterest pumpkin first you need to get two hollowed out halves of a styrofoam ball and carve a pumpkin face into it I've already done this part because if you don't know how to carve in styrofoam, then you're a moron. Next, you gotta cut a bunch of wine corks in half. I have a few here. I wasn't sure how many I would need, so I've just been saving them for a while. So after you've cut the corks in half, you need to get a glue gun. Now, for insurance purposes, I need to tell you that glue guns are hot. Apparently, some people are idiots, and they like to burn themselves on these things, so don't come trying to sue me. So you're going to start lightly, lightly gluing the corks. Ow! That burned! And then you're going to layer them onto the pumpkin. Start from the area around the face hole, and then move to the back. Because you want the front to look good, and if you have any like mess-ups, it needs to be in the back of your ugly pumpkin. Also, don't put any on the separation line between the two halves because it needs to be able to come apart. Then, you can make a little stem out of corks. Get a little leaf, put it on the top, you know, or do your own thing, you know, try to be creative. But don't attach it to the top yet because we're going to do something else with it, okay? So, calm down. This is the semi-finished piece, okay? Um, if yours doesn't like to sit on its own because maybe you like made it wrong or something, you can make a little circle as a base of half corks. And it'll sit like that. Okay, so once you're done with that, take it outside and spray paint the pumpkin orange. I mean, you could also do another color if you like wanted to, but honestly, a pumpkin's orange, so any other color would be pretty stupid. And then, spray paint the stem. Then after it all dries, attach it to the pumpkin with the glue gun. And voila! A decorative pumpkin. Super cute, super folly, and super awesome. Pop a little candle in there too, and you've got a jack-o'-lantern, which the kids won't come around to your porch and smash on the night before Halloween. Okay kids, so send me pictures of your pumpkin so we can see your attempts at how close you came to making one as good as mine. Peace!